Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a reading for you for September 10th through the 16th. Um, this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus because typically my readings are love readings. Um, I do, if the reading doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Okay, If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Bear with me as I use this vice versa tarot deck. I'm going with my intuition fully, fully, as I usually do anyway, but I'm not going by any traditional meanings here. I'm going by what I feel. And there are, there are, um, these are, there's stuff on both sides for those of you that want to question it. That's why you can see both sides. Um, we have the lover's card. Somebody is bringing you together. You got, you're being brought together with somebody. Oh my goodness. So I just did a reading for Taurus and I've shuffled these. These two cards came up together. Okay. For the Taurus reading, but they were they were flipped over. They were flipped over. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, this is about putting in effort and working hard. You may be you may be teaching somebody something, Cancer, and I think you probably are. You know, it's like his child is watching him work. The door is open, you know, he's he's working. He he's teaching his skills to somebody. He's teaching his skills. The door is open. It's like it's at ease. We're working at ease here. It's not like his nose is to the grind. It's like, yeah, we're working on this. So I think that you're working on something. There is an abil an opportunity for a union here. Okay, with somebody that's not your usual type. Whoever you're dealing with, or this could be you, may be trapped and they need to be freed and maybe, you know, they're waiting they're waiting. They're waiting to be rescued. That's what it looks like to me. It's like, please come to my rescue. Please come to my rescue. Yikes. So here we have this Six of Pentacles. Looking down. Looking down at what you deserve. I think that you have already met the person. I think that you have already met the person that you are going to come together with. But there's some feeling of being trapped. <clears throat> now we have two sixes <clears throat> and two eights. Sixes are the journey towards balance and harmony, and eights are the time is now. It's a power. It's a powerful time to bring balance back to your life. <clears throat> Things may be, have been up and down, up and down, up and down, but this reversed. Pride may be an issue here. Somebody is afraid to let go of control. Red is a control color. And I see the red. I And this is a card of balance as well. So I feel like somebody is trying to bring balance and harmony and peace to a relationship or back to their lives. get the rest of these cards real quick. Ooh, like I said, I think you already know this person. Could be a past life relationship. Yes, it could. Let's 
So let me just get this focused in. So this is for cancer. Somebody is oh, blocking. Somebody could be blocking you from, from helping them. Or you could be blocking them. Somebody is blocking this new beginning. But there's a familiarity with this person. Okay, now we have three sixes. Four sixes. And they're right under each other. Look at this shit. It's a time of reevaluation. This is this is journey. This is the true journey to balance and harmony. And it's a and this is a soulmate connection. So I think that you're connecting with a soulmate. And this person is not your usual type, but this the familiarity between you and this person is undeniable. So, you know, all but the thing is is you're going to have to work hard to get this person to unblock whether it's you or the other person, if this is for the cross watcher, I don't know, I don't you typically cater to cross watchers, but somebody is blocked off their heart here. Somebody is blocked off, and it's going to take a lot of effort to teach this person that you're in it for the long haul. So I feel as though, because this is the other person, I feel like whoever the other person is, they really don't know. They don't know. You know, they don't know who to trust. They don't know whether it's you or the other person. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of unknowing here. I've guarded myself. I've protected myself. I've protected myself. And it's like, I think that the fear is starting to melt. But it's going to take, it's going to take a lot of, of positive thinking and, um, working together for for this to get to the point of trust, you know, where we can trust each other. You know, I, I there's a lack of there's a lack of trust here and I think that you may be growing weary or the other person may be growing weary because it's taking so long. It is taking so long. It is time to reevaluate this situation, and I think that's exactly what you're doing. I think that right now you you've you've been blocking yourself, or the other person has been blocking this connection. But the the connection is so real that there's an opportunity for it to. have balance and harmony and peace you know so there's an opportunity for it to come together um it's all about the choices you make with these sixes it's about the choices to either work on it or not it's about the choices do you want this partnership or not because if you want a partnership you have to put in a lot of work so i feel like this is definitely a week of of probably deciding you know do i do I want to work on this or not? There is a there is a soulmate connection here, no matter what, with these two cards. There's an absolute soulmate connection in which I think you've had to really work hard to develop with somebody because somebody has their guard up, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody has their guard up. And they're afraid to come together with that temperance reverse. They're really afraid. They may be masking their feelings. Somebody is trying to protect themselves in a very, very, very big way, whether it's you or the other person. And I feel like, you know, with this, with this right here, this page of swords, it's like somebody needs help. And it could be the other person, you know, maybe it's you, maybe it's the other person. It's like, you know, I just, maybe it's time to ask for a little help, or maybe this person needs help, and who knows what the case is, but I feel like. You may be you may be growing weary waiting for something to happen that's not happening, but I'm here to tell you not to give up because I see that the end of this this uh, stagnation or wherever you've been is coming. It is coming, all right. Because what the the peace and harmony and the love that you seek is coming. It's coming. Um, 
but somebody has really, really closed themselves off to it. Whether it's you or the other person. There's been a lot of, of mental conflict, a huge amount of mental conflict here with these two cards. And whoever you're dealing with, the feminine in this situation is guarded. Very, very guarded and to the point where I just don't know. I just don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. You know, she's up and down. She's up and down with, with who, what, where, and when. And I feel like this male, the male masculine part of this situation is growing weary. Growing weary, waiting for some sort of recognition. So I feel as though there is a soulmate connection here that could work if you can continue to put effort into it and take the mask off, stop blocking yourself, um, allow the situation to unfold as, as it should. The universe brings people together for a reason, so try not to fight it. Try not to fight it. You both can teach each other something. Even if it's patience, you know, and I think this has required a lot of patience, whatever this is. Um, love heals, and I feel like either you're helping somebody to heal, or they're helping you to heal, or you're healing each other, you know, because there's healing here. There's healing going on. Um, I can see that. These cards are just falling apart. It's a mess. I just like, and I haven't had that happen with these cards, so it feels like. It may feel like things are falling apart, but I was able to pick them up and put them back together. So I feel like this is this is an opportunity to help somebody. Whether it's you, it's like coming together to heal each other. So that's what it feels like. It feels like you, you could come across somebody that you feel so familiar with. You know, it's like... I know I I know I've I know I've seen you before. I know that I've met you before. That's what I see. It's like it's a past life connection here, Cancer. That's what this is with these two cards. Is that there's a connection that is divinely guided. I don't even need a seven to see that. This is a divinely guided connection that has required a lot of patience with another person. Okay? Whether it's with yourself or you've been patiently waiting for this person. This divine connection has required patience and um, compassion. I don't know where that's coming from. We have the Empress, so you could be dealing with a Taurus. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Sagittarius. We have Gemini. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus again. So I feel as though you you have an opportunity with somebody that is very stable, solid, secure. They have a lot to offer. They are very abundant. They are very um, nurturing. This person can take care of you very well. I feel like it is absolutely a soulmate connection in which you have manifested. I think that you have manifested this soulmate connection by putting in a lot of effort to change to being patient, to divine timing, you know, waiting for it to come. Um, this is the birth of something new. A lot of abundance here. So I think that if you are growing weary, I'm here to tell you to be patient because what you have been wishing for is is coming. It's here. It's It's close. Okay, don't give up. Keep working on whatever it is that you need to work on. Um, there is a, a need to unblock yourself, though, or the un other person to unblock, okay? Um, don't let the fears of rejection, you know, hold you back. If somebody needs more patience, don't take it as they're rejecting you. Maybe they just need a little bit of time. I don't know. Um... You need to have faith and trust, okay? Faith and trust that your hard work is paying off. I really feel like I'm rubbing my chest. 
I am rubbing my chest. There is a heartfelt divine connection here with somebody from a past life. I think this is a past life connection that is your soulmate that, you know, divine timing is at work here. And I feel like the time is now. It's time for this new beginning to start. So don't give up don't give up because it's absolutely around the corner i feel like you if you've been going through some trouble if you've been you know dealing with some adversity you know that time is just about up because you're actually moving to a better place with this person um yeah we have the three of cups but you see <coughs> here there's three women here there's only one. Somebody has love to offer you, okay? Somebody has love to offer. And I feel it, 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 it's, it, now the way I'm looking at this card is this is the Ace of Cups and this is the Two of Cups. That's how I'm looking at this card. So I feel, and it's a wish, it's a dream come true, okay? So I feel like your, your wish, your dream is, is arriving, okay? Or it's here. So if you're with somebody right now, I mean, this is probably your soulmate, your, your, you know, life partner. But I feel as though there's an opportunity for a, a, a soulmate connection here. An offering of love. It's a wish. It's a dream come true, Cancer. It really is. But you're going to have to help somebody free themselves from their mental turmoil. That's what this is. You, you're dealing with another person that is mentally conflicted. Okay, this person has been hurt. They have their guard up. So you're going to have, and this is love heals. So while you're helping them heal, they will also be helping you. It's a mutual thing. Okay, so I feel as though that you do have something to celebrate. And then that, that there's an opportunity for a reunion with a life partner. There is. It's a reunion with a life partner. Somebody that you have known before. So familiar. It's like unbelievable. It's like, you know what? This is this is unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. Um, it's what you deserve. Now, this person is going to be is going to compliment you very well with these two cards. There's going to be equal give and take. You know, it's not like you're going to be doing all the work or they're going to be doing all the work. It's going to be equal. Um, mm -hmm. I just happened to look down. Look at it. There's a lot of love to be had. It's like your your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow has arrived. So for those of you that this resonates with, there's an opportunity for a soulmate connection in which... There's a lot of lovey-dovey, touchy, kissy, huggy, um, cuddling. Um, I'm so glad I found you. That kind of thing. Where have you been all my life? That's what I see. That is what I see. Where have you been all my life? Now, these are for, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Don't give up. Don't give up because it's right around the corner. I feel like you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a genuine offer of love. It's a dream. It's a wish. It's a wish being fulfilled. But, you know, when you meet a soulmate, you know what a soulmate connection is? It's where we come to heal each other, where we're able to do that. You know what I mean? It's where we, we're able to complement each other in a way that we can help each other. You know, so that's exactly what this is. It will require some work. It will require some patience. It will require you not to give up. True love heals. So I feel like this is a week of perhaps uniting with your true life partner. And, and this card says the same thing. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah, they're not your usual type. But you know that they're the one.
So Cancer, that's what I have for the 10th to the 16th. Be prepared to be optimistic, think positive, and work on a partnership with somebody that you didn't expect. Now I think this person is, is totally not what you're used to, but not, but what you're used to didn't work out, right? So definitely keep an open mind. You know, you may have to be patient with this person and they may have to be patient with you. But that is a great, great, great start to a solid foundation. So there's an opportunity for love, happiness, no disaster. It's not going to end in disaster. It's not. It's reversed. Keep an open mind. So, Cancer, I feel like this is a week of moving towards happiness with someone you've known before. A soulmate connection. Talk to you later. Oh, and I'm going to do my regular spreads. These are just like little extras.